YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today we are creating this kind of 90s, kind of witchy, kind of dark, I'm not really sure what this is, but I was feeling vampy, so let's get into it. To prime my skin today, I'm using Le Blanc de Chanel. I didn't want to use any shimmer on the skin, so I'm using a an illuminating primer that is not going to add any shimmer. I don't know how this primer works, but it just makes the skin look brighter and illuminated but without any glitter. Once I have that applied, I'm using Studio Skin from Smashbox. I haven't used this foundation in a long time, and I cannot say that it's my favorite, but I wanted to use something I hadn't used in a while just because I saw it sitting in my drawer, and it worked well enough for this look. It's a little bit yellow for my skin right now because I don't have any kind of tan going on, so we're going to blend it down the neck um, and really, 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 really blend it into the skin. To highlight around the eyes and the face today, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla, taking that all the way up on the side of my nose, trying to get a little bit of thinness on my nose. My nose is so huge, there's not a really good way to contour it, but we're going with the flow. So once I have all of the areas that I want to highlight on my face going, I'm just going to take a damp beauty sponge. This is just a traditional white wedge, and I'm just pressing that into the skin. My sponge is dampened with a little bit of setting spray. To begin contouring my face, I'm using my Le Duo Contour Stick from Lancôme in the shade Ivoire, and I'm using that to cut my cheekbones a little bit and blending that upwards, and I'm going to take this around my hairline as well. And once again I have that, I'm going to blend that in with that damp beauty sponge. I'm taking that and pressing this into the skin, moving it back towards the hairline. I don't want to bring this too far um, into the face, I want to keep it kind of localized. I don't want too much... Uh, the gray contour all over my face. Then to go ahead and set, I am using a giant powder puff and the RCMA No Color Powder. This is something new I'm trying. This is the very first time I actually tried it on my face. And again, I must say, I like my Dermablend um, Colorless Setting Powder a little bit better, but this did the job. Um, I will definitely keep it on hand for jobs and for um, looks where I need a ton of powder because it's a ton of product. And then to go ahead and further my contour, I'm using my NYX blush in the shade Taupe. This I'm going a little bit more ham with than I did with the contour stick. I kind of realized I needed it to be a little bit stronger, so I'm going in. And I'm also bringing my contour downwards, if that makes sense. You'll see when I um, bake underneath the contour the shape that I'm creating. And of course, I'm taking it around my hairline as well just to kind of even everything out. Contouring the jawline too, because you know, when in Rome, might as well do it up. And then for blush, I'm starting out with one of the Lorac Color Source blushes. I believe this is the shade Prism. And it's not too uh, bright. I just needed something a little bit warm just on the edges of that contour so I didn't look so gray. Then I'm taking the contour right in the corner of the nose where the brow and the nose meet. Then to cut my contour and bake a little bit. You can see here, I'm bringing that down. Instead of circling up, I wanted to create a very gaunt looking cheek, a very, uh, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Very thin looking cheeks. And then I'm filling in my brows. I'm going a little bit darker. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills um, chocolate pencil. I was going to wear a wig for the final portraits of this, but I actually ended up, as you saw in the beginning, not wearing the wig. Um, I think it looked better with my natural hair. But anyways, just filling in my brows, kind of sharpening them up towards the edges, but still keeping the front very, very fluffy and wispy, making sure to brush it all into place. Then of course, I'm going to hold it all in with my favorite Source Seal Gel, um, or Source Seal Styler Gel from Lancome in clear. Then as a base, I'm going to use one of the Ombre Hypno Stilo pencils in a light rose goldy kind of shade, just as a base color. And then I'm going to really create a strong waterline with a deep brown chocolate pencil. This is um, just a coal pencil. I didn't use anything waterproof because I only wore this makeup for about 15 minutes after. Um, but if you're going to be wearing this look all day, I would definitely recommend using a waterproof for your coal or for your waterline. I'm also taking that around the lower lash line, and I'm going to be using this pencil quite a bit to really create a nice base for my dark colors to stick to. And between layers, I'm really going to blend. And you can see I'm starting to bring that shape outwards. I want to create sort of a cat eye shape. Then I'm going to start bringing this across the upper lash line. And I want to get that right into the roots. Again, I don't want any skin peeking through the roots of the lashes. I'm going to start bringing this up onto the outer corner and through my socket line. I'm creating the halo shape for my eyeshadows. 
with this base. Again, I want my dark black eyeshadow to have something really to cling to and be really pigmented on. Doing the same thing on the inner corner and of course connecting that inner corner through the socket line so I get that circular shape around the eye that the um, pop of gold is going to go right in the middle and I'm going to leave that blank until I get there. Then I'm going to extend this a little bit just because sort of a triangular shape on the outside corner suits my shape better. And the eyeshadows that I'm working with today are the Lancome Golden Frenzy Palette. I'm taking the mid-tone brown shade just to blend the edges of all of this away so that I get a seamless, smooth transition. And then I'm going to dust away all of my bake just because I forgot to dust it away earlier. And then we're going to move back to the eyes. And I'm taking that all the way in through where I started to contour the nose. I'm going to go back in with this and redefine um, that, make it a little bit deeper. And then I'm going in with the black shade on a small pencil brush and really packing that into the inner and outer corners and through the socket line. And I'm going to go in and do this and blend it and do this and blend it a few times until it gets to the intensity that I'm looking for. Feel free to build and blend to get the desired intensity for you. Then I'm taking this cream shadow. Oh my god, I have no idea what brand it is. It's from Australia. My parents brought it back for me when they um, went recently. And I'm taking that through the center of the eyelid and then using the gold shade from the lid to pop that on top. And then there's like this sparkly brownie gold shade that I'm just using to blend everything kind of on the edges and through the socket line. I really spent the most time on this eye because this is, as you all know, not my typical look. Um, but I really want to do something different for you, so I'm popping a little bit of gold in the inner corner, and then I'm going to press a little bit of black liquid right into the lash line because I'm going to be using falsies, again, something I don't normally do. Um, and this is just going to make the lash line look as intense black as possible. Curling my lashes, and then going right in with some Ardell Studio Effect. These are my favorite lashes. And then I'm going to uh, make sure to hide the lash band again with that same liquid liner. This is going to cover up any glue that's showing. Then I'm going to really go in heavy with this mascara. This is like the heaviest mascara. I love it. This is Grandiose Extreme. And I'm putting that on my real and false lashes. For my lips, we're going dark. Might as well, right? This is one of the new colors of the Lancome Matte Shaker. It's called Dark Fiction, and I'm so obsessed with it. Look how beautiful that one swipe color. Uh, I'm dead. I'm gonna go back to that same eyeliner that I used earlier. I just resharpened it so that I could get a nice fine point and I am lining my lips and sort of creating a little bit of ombre effect. And then to finish it off I'm just going over with one more layer of that Dark Fiction liquid lipstick. Throwing on a choker. Oh wait, we're not done yet. I forgot. We're gonna highlight but again with no shimmer. This is the like liquid sweat from Ben Nye. Um, Mario Dodonovic, uh, Kim K's makeup artist, talked about this in an interview recently, and I had to order it, and I'm kind of obsessed. It's not showing up as much on film as I wanted it to, but in like photography, it looks stunning. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Again, something a little bit different for me. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out the description box. I'll see you all next time. Bye!